This is Into Mobile at uh, CES 2010. We're taking a look at the V phone from Sagus. Uh, it is the first Android phone with video calling. We've got the Chad Sayers here with uh, the CEO uh, showing us uh, the new device. Hey Chad, how you doing? Good, good, yeah. thank you. You having a good show so far? Yeah, it's been great. We've had a great, uh, lot of good people coming around and finding out about what we're doing. And, and actually, okay, so that's cool. thanks guys. We're actually doing, uh, this is actually the first phone in the United States that does two-way video calling. It's also the first phone in the world that does low bandwidth video calling. So what we're uh, sending essentially is about four times the resolution and half the bandwidth with our technology that is, lo that is both the a combination of hardware and software inside the device. Um, I think it's, uh, I've tried to get the message out a little bit about how important the quality of this video is because in, in the past there have been a number of issues. One of them has been the, the uh, reliabilities of the networks. They, are typically hot spots where video calling is done overseas. Some networks did upgrade substantially and they spent hundreds of millions of dollars so they have to pass the cost down to the, to the subscriber. What we're providing here is the ability for the rest of the world, which is probably 95% of the world, not to have to do those upgrades until those networks want to and to still be able to have video calling. So now you don't have to go to a hotspot to get a make to, to a, a send or receive a video call, uh, which requires obviously the person on the other end to go to a hotspot as well, but it can work across the entire 3G or an Edge 2.5G network. Very cool. So uh, how about a quick uh, hardware tour here? Yeah, sure. We don't have the video calling uh, on this yet, uh, but you'll be able to see demos here pretty quick. So you've got the Android 1.6, which is what we're launching on. We'll upgrade to 2.0 uh, shortly thereafter because our operating or our uh, video calling software uh, is already working with the uh, 1.6, so we're going to keep that on there. But you've got the Android OS. What I like about our phone is there are three simple buttons and a screen. So you're either going to go back. You're going to pop up the menu, which would be here for whatever may be available if you don't like or can't see anything you need to do on or want to use on the screen. Um, or you can click your home button, which goes to the call log uh, if you don't have anywhere to go and you're already on the home page. So it's kind of exciting because the keyboard seems to be one of the things that people really love the most. Um, we've had a number of phone reviewers, although we haven't sent them the phone yet, but we have let them uh, sort of handle it and kind of uh, test it here in the, in the booth. And they love the keys. They, the keys are raised. Uh, you can easily catch them with your fingers. Uh, and also it's a long, it's a wide keyboard, the same width as the phone, as opposed to some of the other phones out there like the Droid, it kind of cuts off right here. So it cuts off the size of the keys, making it more difficult for big fat thumbs like mine to <laughs> hit the keys. So that's kind of cool. I think another thing that's significant about this device is the USB port, which is both, both host and client, I mean, you can go ahead and plug your jump drive in there and pull up applications from, from it, which is cool. very cool. But one of the hot things about this phone, besides the video calling, besides the USB, besides the, uh, the, uh, just some of the cool features that it has as an Android phone, is the fact that you can use it as a multi-access device, tethering eight devices, the only phone in the world right now that can do that. So we're the only phone in the world that does two-way live video calling uh, in any low bandwidth spectrum, uh, so it doesn't cost uh, a lot to the consumer or the, or the uh, carriers. We're also the only one that does does uh, eight uh, device tethering for multi-point access. Um, I think so wait, the, 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 this access as a Wi-Fi hotspot you're saying? Yes, so you can, to, uh, effectively you can attach eight laptops to it uh, simultaneously and be able to surf the internet. Uh, you know, you can do it through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, you can do it through the tethering here. You know, where are we at, the USB port. Wow. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, V-Phone obviously stands for video. And it's got an 800 by 480 resolution screen, so it's about the same as the Droid does. It's a 800 megahertz processor. Uh, this is 806, right? From the, it's the Marvell uh, 310. I believe it's the XPA. Okay. Now uh, we, we were talking a little bit earlier about the target market for this. Oh, five megapixel camera on the back as well. Five megapixel autofocus and flash. Cool. Uh, yeah, we, we were talking a little bit about the target market earlier, and it seems like a lot of the guys here are talking about the blind here and how, how much they, they, they'd appreciate the, both the the, uh, the video calling and the hardware keyboard. Right. There's, so there, uh, it's, it's, they're sort of like the last group in the world that has been left un, unable to communicate on the go. And so it's been kind of fun. So you get a shot of the camera here. I'll put on the forward-facing camera. Um, I'm going to have a oh. simple... <laughs> hey there. So there's your forward-facing camera. But you've got to have at least 24 frames per second so that uh, so that people who are uh, hard of hearing are able and do use American Sign Language are able to do signing. This is very meta, a camera looking into a camera. Yeah, kind of cool. <laughs> Hold on, maybe, maybe we could get the Quaker effect here. 
Is it working? Whoa, crazy. <laughs> All right. Um, kind of cool. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of uh, compression and quality are, are, are we looking at in the front-facing video camera? So you're looking at a VGA camera up here, uh, and you're getting about 20. You're getting on a 3G network, 24 to 30 frames per second. Um, you're also getting, uh, like, if you're on an edge, you're looking at 18 to 24 frames per second. But the quality of the video is very clear. Obviously, the screen with the resolution is going to be able to provide you the maximum amount of quality viewing of the camera. Uh, or the images that comes in because it's an 800 by 480, but you're only getting what you're shipping in. Um, but we, but ours comes across very clear. So it, um, you know you're looking at a, a 35 ish or so frame or uh, kilobits per second for uh, to be able to send a, a, the call. And so, like I mentioned, you know we're doing about half the bandwidth of what the rest of the world does, but in better quality. And it doesn't require the networks to upgrade or the subscriber then, of course, to pay for that service. Excellent. Cool. So uh, any word on pricing, carrier availability? Well, we don't know. We, we're still waiting for approval. We've got a carrier that we should hear from in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we think by the end of the month, uh, we'll end of January 2010, you'll hear a pretty heavy-duty announcement from the carrier. We're in the lab being tested right now. We're almost finished with the testing. And uh, we expect that there'll be more news about that carrier. And then we're hoping to hear if they're going to subsidize, how much they're going to subsidize uh, the device. We'll know more about the price. But it certainly is going to be competitive. Uh, we're very committed to getting a device out like this. Our objective around the world is, you know, when I started the company uh, uh, 12 years ago, the idea was to bring the Star Trek communicator uh, to the world. Nice. So it took a long time to do that. <laughs> but, but here we are. Yep, here we finally are. And so uh, creating video calling capability from country to country and, uh, you know, spanning networks is exciting because it really just gives people, you know, it gives a soldier or a dad or a mom who are a long way from home a chance that even though it's, it's really sort of a virtual kiss on the screen, it makes our kids and family members feel like they're much closer. And in a busy world where we're running, we're moving a lot, having that video, I really believe, is critical to many relationships, uh, whether they're business relationships or family relationships. Uh, I think it's, it's essential that we find a way to provide that. So, uh, you know, it's a great, I think it's a great uh, thing to be behind. And our objective is to simply do everything we can to find a way to do it and make it easy and make it available. The networks love it because they're offering more service. I think they're going to be excited because they don't have to spend money on it. Yeah. Um, and as subscribers, we're going to be using it like crazy. I think we're going to find new ways that people are going to be using video that they never thought of before. Mm -hmm. We have guys from construction companies saying, wow, man, I put Wi-Fi in these buildings and houses. It doesn't work very good. And now I can have a phone. That's incredible. And I can just go up and say, oh, this is broken. Fix this. And show it right to my guys. So there, there's the, it's just communications. It's better. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it allows things to get done more efficiently. And it moves the world to a place where uh, what was once considered, you know, space age is, is reality today mm. and with our technology. So we're excited. We're, you know, we, we look forward somewhere down the road. Uh, we've already had one carrier ask us if we can license it to, be, to between four and six of their phones. We're very excited about that. You want to have people talk to this device uh, as H263, H264 and SIP enabled. So it communicates with... You know, pretty much anything out there that does video calling right now, uh, we can do that. It's not does, doesn't do won't connect to Skype, obviously, um, because um, Skype is proprietary. Right. But if Skype opens it up and wants to do something with us, we're certainly well open to that. Nice. Our objective again is to help people communicate better.